All right, what's up everyone? So I'm actually in my new house right now. Here's the living room. Boom, 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 Christmas tree. Living room. And I'm not gonna give a whole house tour. I will sometime. But, um, so this one, dryer's in there, it's really loud. Uh, some tips and things you should know before you go on the road for six weeks with your mentor. So I'm gonna find a good place to set this phone up and we'll get started. Say, so, hey, this is my cat Leon, by the way. Leonidas, like the great King Leonidas of Sparta. He's my little badass, my little badass. He's crazy, I'm gonna put him down. Anyways, um, so my house has these awesome shelves built into the wall and I can just boom a la binga, put my shit right there. So. Tips and things you should know. First tip, I'm gonna go over, I touched on this a little bit, is your trip planning. So um, your trainer should be making you trip plan a little bit. Uh, mine did like half the time, but we didn't use a GPS at all. What my trainer would do is he would write down the directions to get to the place. I'd have to look in the atlas, look at his directions, look at the atlas and make sure everything was right. And then sometimes he would, wouldn't write the directions down until I went ahead and planned everything out and I wrote it down and then I compared it to his. And then sometimes he didn't even make me do it. He would just write the directions down. But even if they don't make you do it, trip plan. Cause you're gonna be by yourself in six weeks, right? And you wanna know how to trip plan. You don't wanna have to look at a fucking, excuse my language, at a YouTube video, which I mean, that's all right. You can learn it from a YouTube video, right? But yeah, so know how to trip plan, everything about it, low bridges, how many miles are in between, yada, 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 which you can send into macro on your Omnitrax, I forgot what macro it is. I think it's 20 something, I don't know. Um, uh, request directions and uh, it'll send you the directions and then you can just look at the directions on there and go to your Atlas and make sure it's all right. Don't just use a GPS, definitely not a phone GPS, right? Yeah, which I'm gonna use a GPS, but I'm just gonna use it for a reference. I'm gonna make sure that I have my route, my route down and if my GPS tries taking me somewhere else, I'm gonna look at my route and I'm gonna be like, no, we're not doing that GPS. So yeah. Um, now, number two is food. I think I touched on this one too. That damn fucking uh, truck stop food is very expensive. So what I would do is during our 34 hour restart, my trainer would go home. Cause you know, you have a 70 hour clock. It's always ticking after your 70 hour clock ticks down. Leon, you gotta take a 34 hour restart break pretty much um so we would go home to okc and he would spend time with his family he'd put me in the super 8 motel and he'd give me his vehicle so two of the times most of the times i was buying food from the truck stop but two of the times i did go to walmart and stock up on some groceries as to save money i bought you know tuna bread peanut butter jelly lunch meat granola bars pop tart shit like that uh, gatorades water which at the truck stop, they do have a little grocery aisle, but it's just expensive. Um, it's just expensive. For instance, a can of ravioli is usually what? 99, 95 to 99 cents. And at the truck stop, it was $2 and 67 cents, right? So that's like two and a half times, which adds up. But yeah, I did spend a lot of my time eating burgers and pizza, right? I love burgers and I love pizza. And so I ate it. I also spent a lot of my time eating Subway. I ate some, I ate a bunch of healthy, healthy sandwiches at Subway. So that's good, that's good. But yeah, food. Now that I'm on my own though, I'm eating healthy and good. I'm gonna have me a truck stop meal like once a week, right? And um, third, let me see, I'm just going off the top of my dome. So but these are all gonna be useful tips. And um, oh, thing, all right, so things you should know as well. So. You're gonna have to have to do stuff when you're on the road. Like you're not just gonna be driving and sleeping, driving and sleeping. You know, you have to you have to have a KLLM. This is for KLLM. I don't, I'm sure it's similar to other places, but a KLLM in the back of your um, not your log book, but your other book. You have to um, in the very back of it is 60 slots for backups at truck stops, at receivers, shippers, yada yada yada. Um, anywhere, anytime you back up, you have to log it. You have to put where you backed up and you have to sign it and put the date of, of, of it, the month and day. 
And um, you have to have a KLM, you have to have at least 40 backups. They give you 60 slots, but you have to have at least 40 backups logged. And I had, uh, I end up, ended up having uh, 44 over six and a half weeks. So yeah, um, we had to have at least 40 backups. And it's not bad. There was days where I went five days without backing up just because me and my trainer, my trainer um, so happened to be the one getting to the yards and having to back up. And most of my time was in five days of mine were spent just driving straight, you know. And then there was times where I'd get three backups in one day, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, you're gonna have to log that. You're also gonna have to do your day log, which is just, I mean, I don't really know how to explain it. It's just your day log. It's you log what you're doing, where you stopped at, where you fueled at, how long, yada, yada, yada. You're gonna have to do that. Um, your paper logs, and it's not bad at all. It's easy. Um, so let's see. That's just a couple things right there. Hold up. Be back. All right, there we go. Sorry. Um, so another, just maybe thing, good idea, and I'm glad I brought mine, is to uh, bring you like a pair of headphones or something. Because, you know, when I was driving, my mentor was sleeping and I didn't want to crank the radio up really loud and bother him. So I just got my headphones, put one side on. You can't cover both ears up, but you can put one side on. And I was listening to music, a lot of podcasts. I think I watched, Steve has like what, like 55 podcasts or something. I watched like 45 of them. I watched pretty much all of them. Um, and a lot of music, yeah. Makes the time go by keeps you up and that's another thing always have something to snack on by you whether it's something you know i was doing a lot of chips and shit but um it's not gonna be chips when i'm on my own i was just buying a healthy shit but you know something whatever the fuck fuck fucking carrots fucking chips whatever whatever whether you want to eat healthy or unhealthy do whatever have something by you to snack on and drink because right when you start falling asleep boom just snack a little bit snack a little bit snack a little bit right that's what I did. It helped me a lot. And, um, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I was going to say something else. What was it? Let me think. I I have something in my head, and then I just forget it because there's so much going on in my head. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, be sure to, when you're up, pay attention to what your mentor does when he's at the um, the shipper and receiver, all right? Pay attention to what they do because... You're gonna have to be by yourself doing that in six weeks. And which, if you're the one driving there, even if you're not, he should make you go inside and do it so you'll know what to do and shit. And be sure you know how and when to slide your tandems up and back. That's really important. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, bring, you know, enough clothes. I'd say at least, at least, at least six days worth of clothes. I brought five days. And um, I was wearing dirty clothes. Yeah, but it's okay. Um, it was a nasty six weeks. I was pretty nasty. I'm not going to lie, but I was doing everything his way. Won't complain him. I was in his casa. So I was down for whatever. It's all Gucci. What you doing, Leon? What? What 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 what? What 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 Okay, well he's not gonna do it. Fucker. Ooh! Look at my little Christmas village collection I started. It's a tavern, a train station, and a house. And then those two little dudes are about to deck that middle little dude hard as hell with them snowballs, if you can see it. So yeah, starting my Christmas Village collection. I'm super happy. I feel like a, I feel like a dad. Look. I mean, yeah. That's a good bit of tips for you, right? Always plan your routes so you know how to do it. Food, so you save money 
Moving on. And what else did I say? Oh yeah, snacks. Have something to snack on when you're driving so you don't fall asleep. That could be bad if you fall asleep while driving a big ass truck. Woo! That would be very bad. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So actually, I want y'all to put something down in the comments for me. I want you to put down, if you want me to give you a tour of my truck, like before it's set up and after, or just after I set it up. So should I give you a tour of it? Like right when I get there, I don't have anything in it. I'll give you a tour of it and then give you another tour, maybe like a week later when it's all set up, right? Or would y'all just rather see it when it's all set up, right? For the first time. So let me know in the comments. We got a couple new subscribers. We're at that damn 33 right now. Hell yeah. That damn 33. Look at that. But yeah, so a couple tips and tricks. I don't like to drag on shit. Um, but look for my first video after this. Next video after this will be me on the damn road, yo. It'll be me on the road or either a truck tour, depending on... If y'all say before and after or after it's set up. So if you say before and after, then it'll be a truck tour in like three days. And then a truck tour in like after it's set up in like eight to ten days. If you say after, it'll be a truck tour in like seven to ten days. All right. When it's set up. So, yeah, um, that's it, guys. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. That only helps me out didn't like it then you don't have to why would you like and subscribe if you didn't like the video right but yeah so any questions put them down below and um yeah i appreciate it yeah, everything went fast and now i'm about to be on my own in three days i got three more days left at home i'm about to turn up and drink me some ronas i am um, took me last three days i've been moving everything Went to the furniture store and been moving everything in here. Um, but yeah, guys. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, Y'all take care and be safe. And boom.